<clears throat> Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be continuing with the experimenting thing what I said I'm going to do in my last, I think it was two uploads ago or something like that, which is basically like, why I explain, like, I know my channel's not doing the greatest it could be, and that's because of many reasons. One of them being the fact I got kicked out and I couldn't really stream when I didn't have my computer or the internet while my mum was still setting it up. So there's a lot of factors what goes into it. Some of it is the fact that BO4 is not an enjoyable game to watch for a lot of people. So obviously they're not really going to watch it as much as I W or BO3. Which is why people probably sub to me because of Infinite Warfare or Black Ops 3. So what I do is compare the hardcore modes on Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 because I, I did start on hardcore for the most part. Like I played core casually but I started to take the game more serious when I found an interest and a, a liking for the hardcore modes. Specifically hardcore domination back in Black Ops 3 because it was really 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 fun in that game. So I'll be showing you three gameplays from three obviously three different games and i'm going to be showing you a the only actual hardcore bo3 gameplay i have uploaded which is mine i didn't record my stuff year one of black ops 3 because i didn't ever think i'd be doing youtube so i just i, I screenshotted the games but i didn't actually record them i, I think my best was um like i wasn't even that good back then i got like i think 166 kill double nuclear choke with three kill chains in the same game so that's probably my best. Obviously, I never used a brekkie. That was with a HVK. I remember it well. So, I'll be showing you just a normal nuclear what I had because I got this year too. But it's just a normal hardcore nuclear on um, Nuketown with a Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper was a beam in that game. And then, in Black Ops 4, I think I'll probably be showing you a nuke I got on Slums in a free man in Hardcore KC. And on IW, I've got, obviously, a lot of hardcore gameplay, so I can't really say what I'll be showing. Probably, I think I've got about a 38 or 40 gun streak now. You know, Jack Bat's not your standard. I know it's not my standard, but don't worry, like... I feel as if I can't throw a 60 or a 65 gun streak in a video with another two gameplays or it'll be too long. Obviously, I mean, I have a 64 gun streak and I went 71 in TDM with a Titan on Hardcore, so I'll post that in a separate video, but I just can't really put that in this one or the video will be like 12 minutes long because obviously it's a longer gameplay. So, uh, without further ado, like, what did I like about BO3 Hardcore? Now, BO3 Hardcore was when I first really got into COD, and the thing what I liked about it most was domination. The spawns were amazing, as in, like, yes, from a spawn, technically a spawn trap was a uh, perspective, you could just place a sentry gun down on one spawn, and a sentry gun in mid-map, and this worked for nearly every map, not just, like, Nuketown, it worked on Combine, Evac, Infection, Stronghold, um, Fringe, I've honestly forgot a lot of the maps from that game, but you know what I mean, it worked for a lot of maps. And if you play hardcore, or even core domination, in about four or five man teams, you know that the spawns in Dom were really good, and Dom was a really popular mode for that game. As well as that, obviously a big part, kinetic armor. Same with reactive armor from IW, it just gives you health, yeah, pretty much more health when you activate it. And anything like that is going to be great for hardcore, whenever you can have more health than the enemy, because in hardcore... You normally have 30 health, reactive, or sorry, kinetic armor gives you another 150, so you're pretty much like a walking juggernaut when you're in the spawn, which is really nice. And I found the guns were particularly, there was a lot of good guns for hardcore, unlike IW, maybe it's BO4, like the M887, Man of War, Weevil, Razorback, KN44, Dingo, BRM, I'm probably forgetting some because obviously I haven't played, uh, BO3 in a hell of a long time. ICR, like, there was a hell of a lot of good guns for hardcore and BO3 specifically. So that's what I liked about BO3, and that's how I got into it. And the C4s, oh my god, the C4s in that game were so good. Like, you didn't really need to detonate your, well, you obviously had to detonate yourself, but like, you didn't have to guess. Like, it would have a, a, a C4 alarm where if you threw it and somebody walks past it, it would like go ding, 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 and pop up on your screen red saying somebody was near your C4. So you blew it up, easy kill. Place them on flags, place them on spawns, place them on walls, place them on rush routes, place them on everything. They were amazing on that game. Now, BO4. What do I like about BO4 hardcore? <sighs> I like the crash health. I liked it before 
even more when it's stacked. Obviously, you could get plus 50. You could, you could have two crashes on one team. You could get plus 50 health from crash one, then plus 50 health from crash two. If you didn't take any damage and crash one got his health again, you could get another 50, and it would carry on stacking like that. The patch right now, so you can only get a maximum of uh, one crash um, at one time, so you can only go up to 80 health. It's still good, but it's still not as powerful as reactive armor or kin uh, kinetic armor from BO3 and Infinite Warfare, but. It's still something. Now, I like Ajax. Now, I know it's really scummy, but I like Ajax because, I, well, just think of it. You have a shield. People can't shoot you from the front. And you have a, a pistol what can one-shot kill, like, maybe he's even Nuketown spawns. It's good for that. It comes with a decent amount of ammo. Obviously, you move slow, but it's just kind of like a crutch thing. If there's three people running towards you, obviously, in hardcore, you'd... You, you might take two of them, you might even get three if they're bad players, but all they need to do is just land one bullet on you and you are toast. So if you can just whip out your shield, then it's all good. I also like the fact that, again, it's scummy. Talk is extremely overpowered with his microwave shield and razor wire. He's pretty much guaranteed a one-hit kill, or like as long as it ticks once, we'll probably die. Unless we've got crash health. Um, the GKS is extremely good, it reminds me of the Razorback from um, BO3, just like that versatile SMG. Good one shot kill range, good magazine size, aims in fast, doesn't really um, kick. It reminds me of a Razorback and also the MX-9 is pretty good and the Cordite with a belt feed is also good as well. So that's what I like about BO4 Hardcore and KC as well on this game. Like I've noticed with Hardcore, it kind of varies on what is actually good, if that makes sense. Like the mode, like TDM for IW, I mean IW is good in all for all modes but TDM specifically for IW Hardcore. BO3 was Hardcore Dom mainly, I didn't really play much of anything else so I can't really say but I know BO3 Hardcore Dom is where it's at and for BO4 it's pretty much kill confirmed. I don't think Dom is too good on this game but it's it's alright don't get me wrong it's it's decent. Now IW, now everyone loves IW, joke, no one loves IW but I fucking love IW. So what do I like about IW Hardcore? First off is TDM, the rotate, like the the flow of TDM was amazing for Infinite Warfare, unlike um, BO3 and BO4, I don't think the flow for TDM is that good. Second off, uh, the guns what you had you were limited to, but the obviously the guns what you had were really good, as in like NV4, Titan, Maktav, K-Bar on Frontier, maybe Genesis, that's about it. But to be honest, <coughs> there wasn't really many guns for Hardcore in um, IW, there was literally I think 4 max, but the ones you had were very good. Next off, reactive armor, same as kinetic and crash. More health and hardcore is just a win-win situation for you if you're missing your shots or you're outnumbered like there's three people in front of you. Pop that, it should be okay. Now I believe firmly that reactive armor is much better than kinetic armor because reactive protects you from headshots and explosives whereas kinetic only protects you from um, body bullet damage. Now. I feel as if the thing that lets hardcore down on IW is um, micro turrets and ghost being the fact you don't need to move for ghost to work. Like on every other card game, you needed to be moving or sprinting for ghost to take effect, whereas if you were standing still, you'd still appear on the radar. But if you were moving, you wouldn't. So I feel as if ghost on IW was like you had to move around, that would be even better. And turrets easily countered by blind eye, which is um, why I normally have used blind eye or run a counter nova. Because, I mean, in core, you can kind of outgun a turret or dodge them easier, but on hardcore, if one of them hits you, then that's just game over. So, which is why I run a counter and over or a micro turret. Now, the thing I think what ruins hardcore the most is the player base. No one gave IW a chance. That's just how it is. Like, even year one, you couldn't find games of hardpoint lobbies or, well, you could play CTF and Uplink, but that was just a boost fest. But you couldn't find normal games of hardpoint or CTF or uplink which was really annoying because it was a good game now if you do want to see more of this like I compare modes from past codes please just let me know in the comment section below if you want, like suggest what we want to do for example uh, TDM on other modes hardpoint on other games like stuff like that core hardcore like you know what I mean if you just want to see something like this again but with different kind of topics please just let me know and I will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching like I said this is just an experiment it might not be an actual series on my channel it depends if you guys enjoy it or not I haven't said thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one and peace